Have you ever experienced the thrill of an orgasm only to wonder why nothing seems to follow? In a typical ejaculation, the male body orchestrates a complex process. During the climax, semen, a fluid composed of sperm and various glandular secretions, is forcefully expelled through the urethra. Sperm, the microscopic carriers of genetic information, are the stars of this event, while the surrounding seminal fluid supports and transports them. Yet sometimes, the process deviates from what we expect. You might hear terms like a dry orgasm, where you feel the peak of pleasure without noticeable semen, retrograde ejaculation, where semen is redirected into the bladder instead of exiting the body, aspermia, the complete absence of ejaculate, or hypospermia, a significantly reduced volume of semen. Understanding these phenomena is vital for addressing potential reproductive health concerns and demystifying experiences that can impact self-esteem and overall well-being. Let's explore what it means when you ejaculate but no sperm comes out and why this knowledge is crucial for maintaining optimal sexual and reproductive health. Number one, what is normal ejaculation? Understanding normal ejaculation begins with the anatomy and physiology of the male reproductive system. Key components include the testes, which produce sperm, and the epididymis, where sperm matures and is stored. From the epididymis, sperm travel through the vas deferens, a muscular tube that transports them toward the urethra. Along the way, the seminal vesicles and prostate gland add secretions that mix with the sperm, forming semen. This fluid not only nourishes and protects the sperm, but also facilitates their movement, ultimately allowing the semen to exit the body through the urethra. The ejaculatory process itself is a finely tuned interplay of neuromuscular coordination that leads to both orgasm and the forceful expulsion of semen. During sexual stimulation, signals from the brain activate both voluntary and involuntary muscles, triggering a series of rhythmic contractions that propel the semen out through the urethra. It's important to note that there are normal variations in the volume of semen produced and the concentration of sperm, influenced by factors such as age, frequency of ejaculation, and overall health. Number two, what it means to ejaculate with no sperm. When you experience an orgasm without the typical expulsion of semen, it can be described as a dry orgasm, where the sensations of climax occur without or with only a minimal amount of seminal fluid. This phenomenon may involve a complete absence of sperm, known as a spermia, or a markedly low sperm volume, referred to as hypospermia. Understanding these distinctions is crucial as each condition can have different implications for sexual function and reproductive health. Recognizing the symptoms is an essential step in understanding what this phenomenon means. The most apparent sign is the lack of visible semen following orgasm. In some instances, individuals may notice cloudy urine after climax, which can be a sign of retrograde ejaculation. In this condition, the semen is redirected into the bladder instead of being expelled through the penis. It's important to differentiate between temporary episodes, which might occur due to recent sexual activity or other transient factors, and persistent occurrences that may require further medical evaluation. Number three, potential causes. Retrograde ejaculation occurs when the bladder neck fails to close correctly during orgasm, causing the semen to enter the bladder instead of being expelled through the penis. Various factors such as prostate surgery, the use of certain medications like alpha blockers, nerve damage, or diabetes can trigger this condition. These factors interfere with the normal muscular function needed to keep the bladder closed during ejaculation, leading to a situation where the body redirects the seminal fluid internally rather than releasing it externally. Aspermia refers to the complete lack of ejaculation. In cases of aspermia, no semen is produced or expelled during orgasm. This condition can result from surgical interventions such as a prostatectomy, hormonal imbalances that disrupt normal reproductive function, or even congenital issues that affect the development of the male reproductive system. Hypospermia, on the other hand, is characterized by a low volume of semen during ejaculation. This reduced output may be due to a blockage in the ejaculatory duct, dysfunction of the seminal vesicles, or infections that affect the reproductive tract. Although some men may still experience orgasm, the volume of seminal fluid produced is significantly less than usual. 
An ejaculation is the inability to ejaculate correctly, which can be linked to both psychological and neurological factors. Men experiencing an ejaculation might have the physical sensations of orgasm without the expected release of semen, indicating that the coordination between the nervous system and the muscles involved in ejaculation may be disrupted. In addition to these medical conditions, temporary factors can also lead to a situation where little or no sperm is observed during ejaculation. For example, frequent ejaculations can result in a temporary depletion of seminal fluid, while dehydration or recent sexual activity may also affect semen volume. Recognizing the difference between a temporary occurrence and a persistent issue is key to determining whether medical advice should be sought. Number four, diagnostic evaluation. Diagnostic evaluation begins with a comprehensive review of the patient's medical history and a physical examination. During this stage, the healthcare provider will discuss the patient's sexual and reproductive history in detail, including any changes or concerns regarding ejaculation. This discussion often covers the frequency of sexual activity, any noticeable changes in the volume or consistency of the ejaculation, and any accompanying symptoms. The provider will also review current medications and past surgeries, as these factors can offer critical clues about potential underlying causes. Following the initial evaluation, a semen analysis and other laboratory tests are typically conducted. In a semen analysis, the ejaculate is examined to assess both its volume and the presence of sperm. This test helps determine whether the issue is related to a complete lack of sperm, a low sperm count, or another abnormality. Additionally, a urinalysis may be performed shortly after orgasm to check for the presence of sperm in the urine, which can be indicative of retrograde ejaculation. If initial tests suggest that endocrine or anatomical issues might contribute to the problem, Further evaluation with hormonal panels and imaging studies is recommended. Hormonal panels can reveal imbalances that might affect sperm production and overall reproductive function. At the same time, ultrasound or other imaging techniques can help identify any anatomical obstructions or irregularities within the male reproductive system. Together, these diagnostic tools provide a comprehensive picture that assists healthcare professionals in determining the appropriate course of treatment. Number five, treatment and management options. Treatment and management of this condition require a comprehensive approach tailored to the underlying cause. In cases of retrograde ejaculation, medical treatments are often the first step. Medications such as pseudoephedrine and imipramine can help tighten the bladder neck, ensuring that semen is directed out through the urethra rather than into the bladder. Additionally, if an endocrine imbalance is identified, hormonal therapy may be employed to restore normal reproductive function. For those whose issues stem from anatomical abnormalities, surgical interventions may be necessary. Procedures to correct ejaculatory duct obstructions or repair other structural defects in the reproductive system can significantly improve ejaculatory function. These surgeries aim to remove blockages or correct malformations that interfere with the typical passage of semen. Lifestyle and behavioral modifications also play a critical role in managing the condition. This may include better management of chronic conditions like diabetes, adjusting or reducing medications that might contribute to the issue, and adopting healthier lifestyle habits. Moreover, timing sexual activity to avoid periods of temporary depletion of seminal fluid can help maintain normal ejaculatory volumes. For couples facing fertility challenges due to low or absent sperm in the ejaculate, assisted reproductive techniques offer valuable alternatives. These methods, which include sperm retrieval and assisted reproductive technologies such as in vitro fertilization, provide pathways to conception even when natural ejaculation is compromised. When no sperm is present during ejaculation, it can be a signal of various underlying conditions, from retrograde ejaculation and aspermia to hypospermia or an ejaculation, and may also result from temporary factors such as frequent sexual activity or dehydration. Each possibility carries distinct implications for reproductive health, sexual satisfaction, and overall well-being. Understanding these potential causes is the first step toward addressing concerns and ensuring that necessary interventions are appropriately applied. 
early diagnosis and timely treatment are essential for managing symptoms and protecting fertility. Whether the issue requires medication, surgical intervention, lifestyle changes, or assisted reproductive techniques, a prompt and comprehensive evaluation can make a significant difference in the outcome. By addressing the problem as soon as possible, individuals can better preserve their reproductive potential and maintain a healthy sexual life. If you notice changes in your ejaculatory function or are concerned about the absence of sperm during orgasm, it is vital to seek professional advice. A personalized assessment by a healthcare provider will help determine the root cause of the issue and guide you toward the most effective treatment options. Taking action early safeguards your fertility and contributes to your overall health and quality of life.